Guys, I hope your week is going awesome so far. When you're selling an Amazon, there are two extremely important things for every listing you will ever have on Amazon. And understanding these two things can make the difference between making hundreds of thousands a month and making almost nothing. One of the most common questions I get when people message me throughout the day is how come my listing's not ranking? What do I do? Can you help me? I launched a product, it's not selling. And it's a sick feeling, especially when you invested three, four, five thousand dollars into the product and nothing's happening. Well, today I'm gonna help you with that. There are two things that will cause your product to sell. Number one, it must be discoverable. People must be able to find it. If they can't find the product, then how are you gonna sell the product? Number two, your product must be desirable. In other words, out of 100 people who land on that listing, how many people are going to buy your product? If you understand these two things, you can sell anything on Amazon as long as you understand these two concepts and the product is high demand. What I'm gonna focus on today is how to rank your product. In other words, when someone goes in and they type in the keyword to your product, how do you get it to show up on that first page? Because 80% of all sales will happen on the first page of search results, and on that page, up above north of 60% happen in the first three spots, it is vital that you get your product landing on the first page for the keywords. Well, I just wanna get my product on the first page. Well, that doesn't make any sense. How do you, what do you mean get it on the first page? If I go to amazon.com, your product's probably not gonna show. It's gonna show all their categories and those nice pretty pictures for different options. So to get it on the first page, you have to search a keyword. So it's all related to the keywords and you need to know your power keywords, which is usually your five to seven top keywords that will make you the most money. In other words, a keyword is a phrase that someone types in when they're looking for a product to buy. So when you're on Amazon, what is the keyword that you want to rank for? You have to understand this first. We teach this step-by-step -step through a course, and I'm assuming you already have all that knowledge. You already know your five to seven keywords, and now you're ready to do a giveaway. Now, what is a giveaway and why would I do it? The number one way to rank, by ranking I mean to show up on the first page of search results when someone types in one of the five to seven power keywords for your product is through sales. So if I go in and I type in the keyword, your product needs to show up. But the only way it's gonna show up on that first page instead of on page 70 where no one's gonna buy it is if you have great ranking based on that keyword. Well, how do I get that? Well, you get that through sales, but wait a minute. I can't get ranking unless I get sales, but I can't get sales unless I'm ranking. So I'm in this vicious endless circle what in the world am I gonna do? How am I gonna get out of that? I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. There's a technique you can use so that your product shows up on the first page. Now this technique will cost money. You have to be willing to give away products to get there. And it's called giveaways. There are companies out there like Viral Launch and others who created whole programs to help make this easy for you so that when you say, hey everyone, I'm giving a 90% discount on my shoe deodorizer spray. Yeah, we need some shoe deodorizer spray. When I type in that keyword, I need it to show up. So to do that, I'm gonna be giving away a whole bunch at 90 to 100% discount. So there's like, you know, hundreds of people are gonna get it for free. They're gonna buy it with the coupon code. And because that transaction happens, Amazon ranks the product higher because they purchased that item, you see, after they search the keyword. So in order to do this, you have to create a special link. And this link is called a super URL. Now, I guarantee you it's gonna happen on comments below. People are gonna say, super URLs don't work. Super URLs are expired. That is not true. Most of them have expired. If you Google it on the internet, I can't find a single one that works except the two-step. However, on our team, and I only share this with Just One Dime Warriors, we do have a super URL, URL, I can speak. It removes the timestamps, therefore it works. Amazon hacked that hack months ago, even years ago now, where someone would use a super URL. Now, let me explain. It's a special link where if I put it on the website, if, if, I, if, I, if I click on it, it simulates as if I'd gone and searched that keyword. So when I buy the product, Amazon thinks, oh, they found this keyword when they typed in shoe deodorizer spray. You see? It simulates that for you. So when you go to a place like Viral Launch or Just One Diamond, use their launch system, 
it allows you to take that URL, you put it in, and when someone clicks on it, it's as if they search for the keyword. So you start ranking for that keyword. We have that super URL. I only share it with my members, but I'm still gonna show you how to rank by giveaways and how that works. Now, the first question is, how do I get on the first page? Very simple. You need to know how many sales your top competitors are getting when a keyword is searched that pulls them up. If you know how many sales they're getting and they're on the first page of search results, then that's how many you need to get. Let me give you an example. So here's what you're gonna do. Let's just say we type in shoe deodorizer spray. I search that. And now I can see all these shoe deodorizer sprays. Now, obviously these are sponsored, these up here, cause they are running PPC ads. But if I go over here to this one and I click on it, it's showing up on the first page of search results. Now on the first page of search results, I can see what the bestsellers rank is. It's ranking number 83 in sports and outdoors. So it's getting a certain number of sales per day in order to show up on this first page. They're getting a ton of sales. And I can use this tool right here that shows me how many times approximately, how many sales it's getting. So it's between 107 and 49, 107, 49. So it's getting around at least 20 sales per day and that is causing it to show up on the first page of search results. So this tells me I need to be getting 20 sales per day in order to show up on, let me go back, this page right here. If I wanna show up right here, I guarantee you they're getting a ton of sales, then I need to be ranking for this keyword, shoe deodorizer spray, you see? So if I'm gonna get this spot, I need to be at least getting 20 sales a day. Ideally, I would go for 25 just to be safe. So when someone types in shoe deodorizer spray, I wanna show up, but the only way to show up is if I'm selling as many times as that competitor's selling, and ideally more. Now, it's not just about selling, doing that for one day. If you just do that for a day, Amazon's algorithm will consider it sort of an anomaly, and you'll immediately, the next day, you'll just lose your ranking and disappear. You need to be doing this for at least seven days. So I need to give away 25 of these for seven days. So 175 giveaways. Wait a minute, Seth, are you telling me I have to give away 175 of my special shoe deodorizer sprays in order to get it ranking? Yeah, you better. <laughs> yes, you absolutely must. Because if you don't, it's gonna result in you not ranking. So for seven days, you're giving away 25 of these every day. Now, once that happens and you stop, are you gonna lose your ranking? You probably will. And that's where you must run PPC ads to keep visibility so you continue to get those number of sales. So what happens is you, you give away 25 a day for seven days, then you bring that giveaway down to maybe five a day, you run PPC ads at the same time, and, and then you're also getting organic sales. So you have your giveaways, you have your PPC ads that are showing your product on Amazon so people can buy it, and then you have your own natural organic sales. So you're gonna slowly taper off your giveaways as your organic sales move up. Otherwise, if you just give a 25 away a day for seven days and then stop, maybe for the next three or four days, you're still gonna show up on the first page. Then after that, you show up on the second, then the third, and in a few days, you're back to page 70 and you just wasted a ton of money. So make sure you taper it off slowly. Now there's something really, really key, and this is where there's two areas where a lot of people go wrong. Number one, you must first make sure that your listing is convertible. What I mean by that is that people will buy it. Out of 100 people, you need to know that at least 20 people are gonna purchase that product when they see it. If your listing is, does not have a high conversion, then once you start ranking like crazy and you lose that ranking, or you stop doing those giveaways, people stop buying. So the only reason they were buying in the first place was because of the massive discount. So it gives an unrealistic picture of what really people want. So you have to know in advance that people really want the product, that the conversion rate is very high, and then all it is, the only reason it's not selling is not because people aren't buying it, it's because people can't find it. In other words, you have to fix the desirability issue first before you fix the findability, the discoverability, the ranking issue, and do that second. Now, how do I know how well my product converts? It's very easy. I go to seller support, you click on business reports, you download the parent-child ASIN report, you go over and you look at your page session percentage. 
And you're going to see there out of that percentage shows you out of 100 people, how many people purchase. If it is lower than 20%, you need to do something to optimize your listing to make it more convertible. Now, this depends on the listing in some categories for larger, more expensive items. You don't need to have a super high conversion rate because when it does convert, it's a ton of money. And because it's more expensive, people don't buy it as impulsively and repetitively. But if it's a lower cost item, that conversion rate needs to be closer to 40 or 50% in order to make it worth it because you need a lot of sales to make a significant amount of money. So keep in mind the price of your product and the product category have an impact. But as a general rule of thumb, I want that product to be converting at least 20% of the time before I ever even dream of doing some kind of giveaway or just one dime launch or viral launch to get it ranking. So that's how you know if it's converting. And once you know it's converting well, then you do your giveaway. Another way to know is you run PPC ads. So I'm gonna run PPC ads on that listing, and when I download those 10 days later, it's gonna show me the conversion rate for that particular keyword I was hoping to rank for. Once I know the conversion is high, I know this in my mind. When 100 people find this listing, a good percentage of them buy. But if it's only showing up on the fourth page, all I need to do is get it up on the first page, see? But if out of 100 people, only five buy, why would I want it to show up in the first page? I have to do a ton of giveaways. I get it on the first page and guess what happens? Hardly anyone purchases my product. One more thing to keep in mind. Once you're ranking on the first page of search results, realize that you just changed the environment. You've moved into more competitive territory. You're now amongst the top dogs, the best pictures, the best written listings, the most excellent sellers. Therefore, the standard goes up. Therefore, the conversion rate might go down. In other words, make sure you're ready before you get to that first page. Your product needs to 100% be absolutely the best. I would find 20 friends, have them all look at your listing compared to others. Don't tell them which one is yours, so it's objective. Just have them put in the keyword until yours comes up and ask them, which one would you buy? What are your favorite? Or go to pickfu.com and do a photo comparison and find out which photo people like the most. Because what you like may not be what the customer likes and they get determined, they are king, they determine what is best because they're the people sending in the money. So make sure that listing is super desirable and it converts well. Without conversion, you won't, you won't keep your ranking and you'll end up losing a ton of money. Listen, it's kind of like when I go to the gym if I go to the gym and I'm around people who are benching around 200, I look pretty strong. I am strong, you know, doing 215, 220. But if I'm around people doing 250, 275, I look weak because they're so much stronger than me, you see? In the same way, when your listing starts showing up in that first page of search results because you did a giveaway, make sure it's ready. Make sure it's better than the rest. Because if the only reason it's showing up in the first page is because you just gave a ton away so it gets this artificial ranking, it's not gonna stick. And as soon as you stop doing giveaways, your product is gonna sink way, 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 way down again, and you're not going to make money on that product. Guys, I wanna share a quick story with you before I go. This story speaks to my heart so much because it reminds me that people are worth fighting for. A few weeks ago, I was sitting at a cafe bar area with my two sons, and we were working together. And I left to use the restroom. When I came back, my son's sitting next to me. He's sitting next to me. He sent me a Skype. I thought, why is he sending me a Skype? And he wrote and he says, Pop, this guy came up to me and he cussed at me because I was eating my protein bar sitting here at the bar. Now, what that guy didn't know, we had already bought a full meal. My son was still hungry, so I reached down and I got him a protein bar, handed it to him so he could eat it. We bought drinks, we bought a meal. It's not like we just came in there, mooched off of them and left. He walked up to him and said, what the blah, 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 you doing? That is so rude of you to doing that. You blah, 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 shouldn't be doing that. So my son just felt mortified. So I said, where is he? He says, oh, there he is right there. So I walked up to the guy and I literally, I felt shaking inside my body. And I walked up and I said, look, I said, don't you ever talk to my son that way again. You don't know the context. You don't know what was going on. That was totally rude. And I'm telling you guys, my adrenaline was going like this. And I stood very close. And I'm not one of those confrontational people who looks for a fist fight. But if someone stands up against my family, I will so get in their face. And the guy looked at me and you can see his eyes got really big. And he's like, yeah, I am so sorry. He goes, I've been hurt. I've been told when three people are all telling you the same thing, you probably need to listen. His wife told him to go take a time out when it happened. His wife's friend told him he needs to shut up. And now the father of the boy whom he offended is talking to him. 
So he literally, like, he apologized. Then when I sat down, he came over again and apologized again. Then his wife bought me a drink. I mean, like, it was crazy. And it turned out to be a really cool conversation. About, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes later, I get another Skype from my son. And he says, hey, Pop, I just want to thank you for standing up for me. And I thought the most important principle from that day was not that, hey, I stood up to somebody. It was that my son felt stood up for. That is why I love being an entrepreneur. The freedom to get out there and engage with people and do life and fight for your family. If you believe in your heart and mind that you are worth fighting for, then you will fight for yourself and your family. But a lot of times people give up on their dream because they really don't believe they're worth it. And I want to tell you one thing today. You are worth it. One, two, three.